Um, hi guys. So it is currently 7.30 at night even though it looks way darker and you probably can't see me at all. This is the first time I have vlogged since like, I think it was Friday or Saturday. Uh, I think it was Saturday that I last vlogged, but um, anyways, I have just been super busy. Uh, my dad came on Sunday and uh, he's been here since Sunday and today is Tuesday and the funeral is today and I just, I've been spending a lot of time with my family and haven't been vlogging at all just because it's kind of been an emotional time and with the passing of my cousin and all that stuff it's just been really hard on my family so I haven't been vlogging like uh, normal so I apologize that it's completely dark but I am here um, I'm just driving because I'm gonna go get Taco Bell because um, obviously I need Taco Bell I'm just kidding I need Taco Bell because I have not been eating like all, oh you can see me a little bit now I haven't eaten like all day like I've been just kind of like snacking like literally all I've eaten is a bowl not even a bowl it's like half a bowl of oatmeal and some chips and some pasta salad and that's it I need to go get like some food food so I'm gonna go to Taco Bell I think I'm gonna get some chips and pico de gallo and some pinto beans and cheese and I think I'm gonna get a tostada and I think I'm gonna get a drink because I'm just starving like I literally can't even handle how hungry I am right now but the whole way that we were heading home I was like I need food now and yeah and I haven't talked to Colton since I think Thursday night yeah Thursday night and it's Tuesday the next week um, because he's been hunting so he's been gone he just got back today yeah wait no he just got back yesterday so I haven't talked to him yet and I told him not to call today because I thought I wasn't going to be home till late late but it's only 7.30 so I texted his mom like hey can I talk to him because it's been a really long day and I would just really like to talk to him so yeah that's pretty much all the stuff that's been going on I'm just going to talk about because I'm literally starving right now like I am starving I haven't been this hungry in my life and I need food in my belly I'm gonna go home and like just chow down on all of this food that I'm about to get and it's right up the street from my house so it's not like I'm driving super far away or anything so yeah that's what I'm doing this guy needs to realize I have my green girl maybe you don't know you can go oh Jesus lord what is going on there's a lot of people on this road okay you can see my face for a couple seconds I'm gonna be squinting but I'm wearing this gorgeous dress. I should show you guys later when I get back home what it looks like. Hey, really, people? I hate people. I honestly hate people so much. There must be some event going on at the elementary school or something because that's what I'm driving past. Oh, yeah, it looks like it. Some kind of event. It looks like trick or treating or something. Some kind of Halloween event at the school. That's cool. I want to be in elementary school and get candy. Awesome. It's not even like Halloween's next week, guys. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I guess it's better than not having any candy at all. But I can literally not really see. I'm really praying. Uh, what is going on? I'm just gonna, like, okay. You can't really see the cars side the road and all these people oh my god this is a mess okay glad I didn't go here earlier because I couldn't but yeah I'll see you guys when I order my food so bye Thank you. Oh, 
Okay, that was real weird. The guy, like, standing next to her taking the orders, like, went like this to me. Mm hmm Like, he was, like, happy or something? Okay, I don't want to get in an accident right now. Thank you for backing up when I'm right there. Okay, I want a chip, so there better be a freaking chip in here somewhere. Chip, 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 chip. Where are my chips? In here. Yes! <laughs> I'm so happy! Oh my god. Um. Nom, 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 nom. And I got a large drink because fuck it. <laughs> instead of Pico, but Pico just sounded better. Oh man, I'm so happy, guys. So, I will see you guys soon. I don't know if it'll be tonight or tomorrow, but I'll see you guys then. Bye, guys. Good morning, guys. It's currently 11.19 and I am just chilling in bed. I got up like two hours ago. I'm really tired. Um, I made pancakes for breakfast because I can today, so I did, and I have a lot of work to do, so if you don't see much of me for today, then you know why, but I just have so much I need to do, um, as you can tell, my face is, like, really red for some reason, and I don't know why, I think it's because I start my period this weekend, I'm honestly... The only good thing about me not being at home is the fact that um, Colton doesn't have to deal with my grouchiness when I'm on my period. And I'm, I don't know, I'm like in a really grouchy mood today and I woke up to my mom telling me, you need to call your advisor so you can um, tell him you're not in enrollment for spring. And I'm like, oh my god, it's like 9 o'clock in the morning, I don't want to deal with this right now, but I had to because... I need to get it out of the way, so I have to meet with an advisor on Monday next week, so, yeah. I feel like this week is going by really fast, though, which is good, because I'm literally counting down the weeks till I get to come home for Thanksgiving, and so I see Colton again, and oh my god, I miss him. See, I'm, like, emotional today, too, so this is totally hormones, but, um, I miss him so much. Like, I talked to him last night for, like, 20 minutes, and I was just like... I miss you, like, so much, and I'm just like, I want to come back home so I can see your face, and so I can, like, cuddle with you, and kiss you, and hug you, and just love you, and be there with you again, because, like, I, I know he misses me, and he doesn't really say it, like, he doesn't say it like he's sad, but he's, I, I can just tell when Colton is sad, he doesn't really express that part of him to me, but, like, when he had, he still has depression, but, like, he's really good at hiding it. And I can, like, tell, like, when something is going on in his mind. And I don't think he knows that I can figure it out. Like, it's not hard for me to notice because I'm a girl and I'm really emotional myself. But, I don't know. I just, I can tell, like, when something's wrong with him and I've been noticing something's been wrong with him. And I think it's just the fact that I'm still here. Like, he, last night he was like, I wish you could come home, like, now. Like, right now and I'm I'm like I feel the same way like honestly if I could come home right now if like someone gave me a free ticket to come home I'd go home in like five seconds and not even care about my school because I really just want to come home and um yeah I don't want to live here anymore to be honest I hate it I hate living here I hate the environment I hate the people and it's not against the nice people in Reno because I have made a couple of friends and I have had some fun times with friends and I love those friends a lot and they are great people but at the same time I just can't stand the other people like there's like that little 10% of people that are awesome and I love them and then there's like 20% of people who are just so fucking annoying like there are some people here that I literally just 
I can't stand. Like, there's one girl in my class that literally just does not shut up at all. And it's just kind of like, oh my god, I don't want to deal with this for years. And there's, like, a couple people like that in my class. And I'm like, I can't. I can't do this. And it's not even just in school. It's, like, all over the school and, like, all over town. I see some people like that and just like, oh my god. And the rest of the people are just, like, rude and, like, they don't care. And I, I think Washington, compared to here, people care at least a little bit more. And it's just kind of like... I want to go back to that environment. I don't want the negativity. I hate negativity. And I feel like living here has brought on so much negativity in my life. And I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I don't know why this side of my face looks super dark. Ugh, I hate the lighting in here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of my shit done. And then I'm going to go take a, like a shower and not wash my hair and stuff. Because obviously I just washed my hair not that long ago. Don't want the color to run out. And I'm going to like do a facial or something again like I did earlier and I'm trying to relax a little bit today because I just need a day for myself and my grandparents are leaving on Saturday to go somewhere so I'm gonna have the weekend to myself which will be nice but yeah and on Saturday babe doesn't know this because this vlog goes up on Saturday night so he'll already have it done but on Saturday I'm gonna call um garlic gyms and because there's garlic gyms up where he lives and they deliver I'm gonna have them deliver a pizza to his house and it's gonna say like on the box like sorry I can't go to homecoming but I hope this pizza helps so hopefully that helps him out just not be so bummed up with the fact that I can't be up there for that because he does have to go to the football games he can't there's no way around that for him he has to go and um do band and stuff like that because he's a percussionist in band so I'm gonna send that to him and yeah I just hope that I hope that I can go home like, sooner than later. Like, I'm really praying, like, just this whole month goes by fast. And the fact that I can't... Does anyone else have this problem? My hair just falls out everywhere. Um, I just feel bad that I can't be up there for Halloween like I said I would. Because I, I, I just don't have the time. And I really wish I did, but I don't. So, Thanksgiving is, like, the closest time possible. And my my birthday is in four weeks. Like, I can't even be home for that. And I wish I could. Because I would love to see my family, but... They've already invited Colton to come to a couple things when I come up there, so. And I've asked his mom if he can come to the airport with my mom, so. Maybe that'll, that'll help him a little bit so he can see me right away rather than, like, two days after I get home. I know that wouldn't work out. And he still doesn't have his phone, so I can't, I can't talk to him like I want to. And I keep, every time I talk to him, I'm like, babe, come on, get your work done, get your work done. I need to talk to you. Before my camera cuts out again, I just want to say I love you guys. I'm going to upload this on my computer, and I'll talk to you guys later today. Bye, guys. I'm so tired. My mom just likes to get back. Um, so, I've been working on school stuff all day, and I finally made it to 200 on my Alex out of 346, but it's still a start. It's still a start. 200 um, subjects that I have learned so far this entire year in Alex, and it's ridiculous. I don't think I've ever done this much math in my entire life, but did that, and I'm just kind of relaxing. I have a really big art project that I'm working on for my art club, and I'm going to work on that tomorrow, but I'm like trying to get some ideas because I think I'm going to do more than one thing so I can have more than one option to give to the group. Um, but we have to use, like, cool tone colors, so, yeah. I'm really tired, if you guys couldn't tell. I, um, talked to the boyfriend last night. My boyfriend is Colton, obviously. And, um, I don't know, I was really hormonal because I am starting my period on Sunday. And, um, I was crying, <laughs> like, when he called me, and he didn't know I was crying, so he was like, Babe, what's wrong? And like, I was just like, <laughs> um, it was mostly just because this has been a really long week for me, and just a lot of stuff has been going on. Oh, 
<sighs> so tired and um we talked for a really long time and it was really nice to be able to talk to him but like when he was like babe I've gotta go I was like I don't want you to go and it's just hard because I don't get to talk to him on the daily I have no idea when I ever I'm gonna talk to him like ever again like afterwards and it's just it kills me and like I'm trying to get Shelby to text me back his mom because I was going to send him a pizza like have a pizza delivered to their house tomorrow because tomorrow is homecoming and I can't be there for that so I texted her I'm like hey are you guys gonna be home tomorrow and she never responded so I don't know I think that what I'm gonna have to do is I'm just gonna have to send it on my own and hopefully they will um be home because I have no idea if they're gonna be home or not because she's not texting me back and I don't want to send a million text messages but honestly I shouldn't I shouldn't have to like sh I should just get a yes or no it's really not that hard to say yes or no to a question like that if you're gonna be home tomorrow so I don't know what the deal is but it's really frustrating because like this is something I've been wanting to do for a while and I texted her about it probably a month ago and she never responded then either so it's just kind of like okay well, I'm going to do what I want to do, so you can just do with it, and goodbye, so. Like, I love, I love the family, like, a lot, but at the same time, it's just kind of like, it doesn't take but five seconds to say yes or no. So, I, I don't know, I don't understand. But, um, yeah, it's just been going on, and I feel kind of bad that I was, like, really upset after I had to, like, after Colton was like, okay, I have to go, and I, like, kind of ended the conversation badly, because I was sad, and he was like, Babe, just stay strong, okay? And I'm like, yeah, and it, it's hard because I stay strong as much as I can, and it just hurts, you know, because, like, not being able to talk to someone for almost, it's almost been three months, like, our anniversary is in a week. Like, I think it's a little less than a week, let's see. Yeah, it's like a week from next Wednesday, so, and today is Friday, so, it's just kind of, it's annoying, um, I've been dating him for eight months, and I feel like I have no respect on this end of it, because, like, I'm trying to do something to make him happy, and you're not even letting me do that, and he has no idea, because I can't tell him, because it's a surprise, so, I don't know, I have a scratch mark here, because I was itching. And I feel really gross, and I feel like I should take a shower and not wash my hair, because I don't want to wash my hair. Because, yeah, but I bought this dry shampoo. I don't know if you guys know about it. It's the Dove, like, refreshing, like, the naked stuff that has, like, no parabens or anything in it. But, like, it's so bad. It made my hair feel like I was at a salon, like, two weeks ago and never washed my hair. So I think I'm going to take that back. I don't know when, but I'll take it back eventually. If I can find the receipt. Oh my god, why are you so yawning? This vlog is actually gonna go up Sunday night, I think, because it's just, it's a really short vlog, so yeah. So I'm gonna go and um, I'll tell you guys what happens and stuff like that later or whenever or whenever I actually get an answer and who knows when that's gonna be, so yeah. Uh, love you guys. I will see you whenever. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, so if you're anything in the background, it's my washer because I'm washing some clothes right now. But as you can see, I'm in some lazy clothes because I am heading to Walmart because I need some stuff. <laughs> and today is a Saturday. I see, there's my washer. Um, and Colton's sisters are going to homecoming and he can't go because I'm not there, obviously. So, I texted his mom like a million times and like asked her like, hey, can I send Colton a pizza because I can't go to homecoming and I feel like that'd be a good way to apologize to him because he loves pizza. So, she finally got back to me this morning and said, yes, I, I will be home at this time and this time and taking the girls to a dance. So, I'm gonna like call and deliver it while she's like dropping the girls off with Colton and I'm just leaving my house and yeah so 
everything's gonna work out. <sighs> I'm to, hold up, I gotta close this door. So I, as I was saying, um, I'm gonna send Colton a pizza tonight because obviously I need to do something. Cause I feel bad because I can't be there because I'm here. And um, I know that like, not that like social events like that mean a lot to him, but like I feel kind of like I let him down a little bit because I can't be there. And I just, I wanna do something that I think will cheer him up since I won't be able to be there for something that's kind of special to both of us. So um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I have to really watch. Um, what I call it? Of course. There was literally a cop sitting there that entire time. I'm so sorry. I didn't say anything, but I feel like he was like glaring me down like, what is this girl doing? Who does she think she is? But um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm heading to Walmart right now because I need to get some stuff because I need some stuff like usual. So um, yeah, I don't really need that much actually. I'm just kind of going because I want to get out of the house and not do schoolwork right now. I'm gonna go back home and do some art stuff for my art project and then I'm going to um, do some math stuff because I gotta get that done and then I think tonight I'm actually going to be going to a party that my friend invited me to so we're gonna probably go to that at like 10 o'clock at night my grandparents are gone so it's kind of like whatever this is like perfect timing because I don't need I don't need them asking me why are you going out so like but I'm in college, so obviously I need to go to some social event in my life that um, requires me to meet new people so I don't have, I just have more than one friend, so, you know, all is well and good. But um, yeah, she invited me to that, so we'll see about that later. Maybe I'll vlog a little bit, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna FaceTime Colton a little bit, so yeah, everything is going good. Today is going to be a good day, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye! went to Walmart and everything that I needed they didn't have like everything was empty and it was so frustrating because it's like I need these things like really Walmart way to go so I went to Walgreens and then I got eyeliner because I need that I got some makeup remover because I need that like a hella bad and then like you know those like candy corns where you have the like little pumpkins in it they had just the pumpkins like they had like a bag of just the pumpkins for like 99 cents so i was like obviously i'm gonna have to get that because they're my favorite so i got those and then i went to grocery outlet and i got some sriracha because i forgot to get that at walmart because i forgot to look for it so i got that and i got some little i wonder if i could reach one yep these like little wafer cookies they're gluten free and they're amazing and they're so fun they're only like a dollar and 29 so very good they have like chocolate in the center and it's like a wafer cookie on the outside very very good and um yeah i'm just heading home now i'm gonna go make my lunch and cook some rice and some spicy crab and eat that for lunch so that's what i'm doing so i'll see you guys soon bye guys so i just walked in the door like literally just walked in the door and I scraped my foot, like, on the back, ow, of that stupid door there. Because it, like, it, it closed on its own, like, really hard, and I got stuck <sighs> fucking down there. This pisses me off. Hey, guys. So, I don't know if you can hear my music in the background, but I got some music going on. So, this is a look that I'm doing. Because I'm going to a party with my friend, and... This is what I'm wearing, and I actually think it turned out really good. So I have a little secret for you guys. Um, this is really loud. <laughs> um, when you put foundation on, make sure you like put a primer on and then put your foundation on. And then like after that, I don't know why in this lighting, this looks red right here. It's actually not, like I'm looking at the mirror over here, it's not red at all, so I don't know what's going on. But anyways, um, a tip to do is just leave your foundation on, do your eye makeup, do your eyebrows, do everything that you need to do, 
and then apply your um, powder because then you have like time for your foundation to sink into your face and it makes it so smooth like I am honestly thoroughly impressed with my makeup right now I don't know why makeup always looks better at night than it does in the day hold up there's a drop coming I don't know if you can hear it anyways yeah I'm just listening to music because I'm trying to like get turned up and stuff before the party <laughs> just kidding um I'm just trying to like you know get in the mood because it's like gonna be really late when we go to a party so yeah I'm really happy with my makeup it looks really good and my boyfriend's gonna FaceTime me in about an hour so hopefully my makeup still looks as good in an hour yeah <laughs> okay bye guys So I'm looking like really rough this morning. <laughs> um, as you can see, I'm like completely breaking out on my chin and I hate it so much. Like whenever I have like um, my period and stuff cause it's like hormonal imbalance, I always get acne on my chin and like nowhere else, just my chin. Um, yeah, like that's really bad. Like this one right here, it looks horrible. It's literally so deep down under the skin and it hurts so bad and it's not fun and I have no idea how to get rid of it and it probably won't come up or anything. It's just going to like stay there and then just disappear, which sucks. But what, anyways, besides my ugly face, I'm going to show you guys how I get rid of my dandruff and my dandruff is so bad. It's worse now because I live in a really dry climate, so... I'm going to show you guys how I put a mixture together to get rid of it. And please just try and ignore my face right now because I am going to take a shower. Um, one tip, do not wash your hair every day. Definitely wash your hair once or twice a week. I haven't washed my hair since Monday night. I know, it's a really long time and it's Sunday. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Yep, let's go do that. Okay, so you guys can't really see me, and I totally just, like, drooled all over my sweater. Awesome job, Haley. My hair looks really light in this lighting, but it's not that light. Okay. I don't know what's up with that. But, I'm up here. So, okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a cup. I'm just using a coffee cup, because that's really all I have. And first things first, you're gonna take some coconut oil. And I'm gonna get a spoon for that, because obviously I'm gonna get that off, because it's hard. Um, what the coconut oil is going to do is it's going to like moisturize your scalp because we're also going to use apple cider vinegar which is going to dry out your scalp a little bit so you want to keep as moisturized as possible. The apple cider vinegar has like an antifungal or something property. I'll list it down below like all the information if you want to read about it. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, I've read about it a couple times but not that much. So I'm just going to take about, I think, three tablespoons of this and just melt it in the microwave because I want it a little bit warm, but I don't want it burning hot, you know, because I don't want to burn my scalp or anything. So I'll put that in my microwave. A little bit. I'm going to say about 30 seconds on mine. I'm at a really high altitude, so yeah. My hair looks really gross. Like, if you guys... Here, let me see if I can show you. There's my dandruff. Like, that's... It's bad. It's very, very bad. It's worse in the back, but I can't really show you the back. I think it's more just this side that has it. I get these, like, little patches here. Um, it was worse yesterday. I had to, like, brush it out. It was just... It's disgusting, and I don't want people, like, with my dark hair seeing that, so... So, once it's melted down enough, I just um, take the spoon again and like kind of stir it up to make sure there's no chunks in it. So it's just like oil. It smells good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take some apple cider vinegar. This stuff is just um, organic apple cider vinegar from like the store. Pretty sure they get it in bulk at Winco, so I'm just gonna take three tablespoons of that. I might actually do a little bit more than three. I might do four, which I believe is fourth of a cup. I don't remember. But let's do just however many I just put there. 
I'm going to look at and then stir it up. Because I just kind of eyeball this, but I do kind of want to get measurements for you guys. Coconut oil and apple cider vinegar don't really mix that well. But it does keep you really moisturized. And you all scalp, which you need. So it's kind of like a soupy, gross consistency. I'm going to add just a little bit, one more tablespoon of apple cider vinegar so I get the full effect going on here. That looks good. So then I'm going to take my lovely tea tree oil. This is optional. If you don't want to use it, you can You don't have to. Like the apple cider vinegar sometimes is enough for people, but I'm going to add a little bit of this just because it is a really strong oil and this stuff works super well and it's really great. And you can use this on your face. I use this actually as a face toner too, but I'm going to add five, six, seven drops, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, ten drops, never mind. Just kidding. You can add as many as you want, just because I have a lot of dandruff right now, I'm just going to use that much. Okay, you want to be able to smell it a little bit, and this is going to hide that apple cider vinegar. I'm actually going to add a little bit more, so I don't think I have enough. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. I can smell it now. So it's going to smell a little weird. Um, it's it's going to work though, I promise, because I use this. Oh, I used to use it all the time, and then I didn't have dandruff because it went away. Um, and then I came here, and now my dandruff is back. As you can see, I'm itching my head right now because it itches really bad, and I need to get this stuff on it. So all you do, so I don't have to show you or anything, you just part your hair. Take your finger, dip it in, and like go like that. You can use a cotton bud if you want. You can use one of those, like if you have a bottle where you like dye your hair with, you can use that too and just like pour it on section, pour it on section. Um, you don't want to get it like on your hair hair because it's just, I don't know how good it is for your hair and with my hair being dyed, that probably wouldn't be the smartest idea. So that's just not what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, and then all you do after that is you just wash it out and you're done. So that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to go do that now. So I will see you guys in a little bit after my shower. So when you're done, your hair is going to look somewhat like this. And I just put it up in a top knot just so it can stand on my face. And I just leave it in my hair for about 20 minutes and it actually feels really good right now. Like it not burns, but like stings a little bit because of it. You can really see like my red spot right there. I get really bad dandruff right there and I don't think it's gonna show up over here. Maybe a little. But um yeah. That's just, see like there's a little bit of piece of dandruff right there. Like it just brings it out and like when you get in your shower and all like comes out of your hair and feels all really good because you don't have any more dandruff. But that's what I do. I know it's kinda gross, but like kind of need to do it because I don't want to have really gross dandruff in my hair. So, and sometimes like your coconut oil is going to do this. Um, not much you can really do about that. Um, especially if it's the colder months because that's when my dandruff shows up most of the time. It's during the cold months. Um, so like, o October is like when it starts up really bad. It's kind of there in September but not like horrible or anything like that but it gets really bad during the winter time and especially because I am in a really high climate right now and um it's just it's gross here it's dry and disgusting and I want to come home where it's nice and moisturizing but yeah I got that in my hair now now that I'm looking at that it just looks so bad and I actually um quick fix for it is I just take some brown eyeshadow and I like fill in those spots if there's like dandruff there so you can't see the dandruff. Like I know it's there but you don't know it's there. Um, another thing, just drink water because water is going to help if you're um, like pretty dehydrated then you're going to get really bad dandruff and I'm horrible at drinking water. I drink a lot of juice but I'm going to try and drink some water today and Maybe that'll help a little bit flush out the grossness in me and maybe help this stupid thing. It's literally so swollen, like, let's see. Like right there to right here is how swollen this little teeny guy is. It's bad. 
I'm going to do a face mask after I take a shower. My grandma sells um, Edna products, so she has like face masks and stuff like that in the house, so that's pretty nice. I might mix a little tea tree oil in that. Tea tree oil is honestly the greatest thing ever in the entire world. Um, also, if you don't have coconut oil, but you have like aloe vera, you can use that. Because aloe vera works pretty well with getting rid of dandruff as well. Um, you can also mix like different vitamins in it and stuff. Like vitamin E oil is really good. Ooh, that was loud. Vitamin E oil is really good. Um, what else is good? Really, any oil is really good for your hair. Like, olive oil is good, too. I'm not using olive oil just because I dye my hair. And olive oil is sometimes known to, like, strip your hair dye color. But, I don't know. I just don't want to use it because I don't want to risk it. Because dyeing your hair isn't cheap. And I really don't want to ruin my ends any more than I already have. So... If you want to, I recommend taking some of that coconut oil that you use, putting it on your ends too before wrapping it up in your top knot like that. Um, yeah, that's what I like to do. And that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm just going to leave this in for about 20 minutes and then I will get back to it and just take a shower. I should show you guys this stuff. Oh no, I showed you guys in like, I think last week's vlog I showed, or maybe it was this week. I don't know. I'm off on my days. I showed you guys um, my new shampoo and conditioner that I bought. That's what I will be using. I will be using the deep conditioning uh, treatment on my hair just because I need to deep condition my hair because there's like grossness in my hair. There's like products and when you don't wash your hair for a week, you put a lot of dry shampoo in it and sometimes that can get built up. Especially the stuff I'm using, it's not good and I need to get rid of it. It's the Dove um, Naked Dry Shampoo. I think I mentioned that yesterday. It's disgusting and just don't use it. I don't know if it's just mine, but mm -mm. like don't use it. It gets so much buildup in your hair. It's like putting a shit ton of hairspray in your hair. That smells very good. So taking my water. <laughs> so I'm gonna do some homework and then take a shower and I'll see you guys probably after my shower and after my face mask and stuff. So see you guys then lovely lighting we've got here but um before I wash this lovely stuff out of my hair I decided I would do a face mask too for after my shower so what it is is it's a honey cinnamon and nutmeg face mask so it's gonna help with the gross bacteria on my face right now because hormones are not fun and yeah so it's just a teaspoon of cinnamon a teaspoon of nutmeg and two tablespoons of honey. So, yeah, that's all it is. You could actually do um, what I did. The recipe calls for two tablespoons of honey. I actually put two teaspoons of honey and I made it a really thick consistency so it'll stick on my face. So, yeah, I'm gonna go take my shower now and then I will see you guys a little bit later. So, bye guys. So, I tried to film this. Yes, this is the mask on my face. I'm just testing it out to make sure it works and it doesn't, um, burn me or something like that so yeah you you need a um, dandruff shampoo the Nixon dry scalp recovery is amazing I will put a link down below for it I buy it on Amazon because it's way cheaper than buying it at like um, like a hair salon or something so use that should work it's great I'm gonna take a shower <laughs> bye guys what's up guys I know my hair looks really great right now <laughs> um and my teeth are yellow that's awesome that's what you get for drinking coffee good job Ailey I know I'm retarded but I am getting ready to go to my math class I know my hair looks greasy and gross but it's not I promise I just haven't done anything to it yet so it's just kind of like chilling out on top of my head yeah so I it's Monday and I had my advisory appointment this morning so yeah I been really busy today actually I like woke up at 7 this morning started getting ready and then I had my advisory appointment at 9 in the morning so I was like I'm not getting ready looking nice for that so I didn't and yeah now I'm here doing my makeup
makeup for now. I love my stupid zit on my face and this side of my face is like red and stuff. It's great. It's great. It's a great day. At least my hair will hide that a little bit. I'm trying to let my face makeup dry before I put powder on because it seems to work so much better when I do that. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna start getting ready for the day and fix whatever is going on here and then I'll show you guys my outfit or something. Probably we'll just go in the car and show you. So see you guys in a bit. Hello everybody. Even though the sun is still here, my makeup is so on point right now and I'm in love. I'm wearing the dress that I wore to my cousin's funeral. It's from Forever 21 but you know, even though I wore it to a funeral, I don't think that I should not have to wear it. I think I'm gonna go to uh, Starbucks and get some iced tea, even though this will be the second time I've gone to Starbucks today, but um, you know, I love iced tea, like I could literally drink it all day long. I'm trying to get my card out, so I'll have to do that later, but yeah, I went to Starbucks this morning and got a pumpkin spice latte because I really wanted one, so we'll be back again, so. I will talk to you guys in a bit, maybe later tonight, I don't know, I honestly don't know what I'm doing today. My cousin's on Family Feud again tonight because they won the first round, so they get to go on again, so I don't know if they won this one or not, so we'll see. So I will talk to you guys later, bye guys! Good morning, so, uh, I don't know if you're noticing, but I absolutely hate my hair this morning. It just doesn't, it feels weird and I think it's that dry shampoo and I like look down at my ends and they're like all split again and I'm just like, fuck. Cause I literally, I just cut off the split ends two days ago and they're already back again. So I don't know what's going on. My hair feels really short and yeah, I'm just like not in the mood this morning with my hair. So I just threw this in my hair to make it look somewhat better. but. I think I'm gonna go and get some heat protectant because like I've been using argan oil but it's just not doing enough for my hair and it feels gross, really gross. So I think I'm gonna do that today and I'm gonna go buy a new robe because my robe that I have it smells like mildew for some reason and I don't know why and it's disgusting so I'm not using that so that's where I'm going right now and then I have class at 2 o'clock so what's going on with me. I'm just like in a really bad mood today. I did make some apple cider though, so that is helping a little bit. I think when I get home later, so I'm going to get home late tonight, I'm going to uh, cut the little bits of split ends that I see off because they're just, it's not good for your hair to have that many split ends and they can keep splitting up and making your hair worse and like Honestly, I would rather cut my split ends than have a million split ends because I can see them and it makes my hair look- I just- I'm self-conscious of it and I hate it, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully in December, when I go up there, I can, um, uh, what's the word? Get my hair cut by Colton's aunt because she's like a professional and I'm not, so I just like cut the little bits of split ends off that I see. What I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go now because I got seat on the freeway and I don't really want to be vlogging on the freeway because it's really loud and annoying. So, love you guys. Bye. The lovely moment when you start recording and you realize you weren't recording at all. Good job. So, as you can tell, it's raining and I have straight hair. <laughs> this is not gonna work. I'm gonna look like a poodle by the end of my class today. Last night was really rough. I supposed to talk to Colton at like 8 20 and that didn't happen I talked to him at like 9 for like 10 minutes even though we were supposed to talk for an hour so I am thoroughly pissed off um currently going to class and currently really need to go to the bathroom but I can't do that because I have to go to class so yeah today's a rough day um oh Jesus lord I'm talking to you guys I didn't realize I could go okay well, I'm gonna go <laughs> and pay attention to my driving. Love you guys. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm stuck in traffic because I took my friend home and of course it's five o'clock traffic so I thought I might as well vlog a little bit while I head home. 
I don't have much storage space on my phone left, so I just wanted to say hey, and I will see you guys when I get home. I know my chin looks absolutely horrendous right now, but I'm trying to keep as much makeup off of it as possible. So, yeah. So, I'll just see you guys later. I'm just now merging onto the freeway. And I don't know if this person's gonna let me over. Bitches. Bye, guys.